All right. Um, without further ado, let's bring Fuquan on from NNG Capital Fund. Sorry, I missed it at the end. Thank you so much for joining us, Fuquan. Absolutely, you guys, hilarious. So, look, thanks for being. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of the platform and share my journey with your viewers. I, listen, I, I love your uh, podcast studio there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, this is actually brand new. This is the first interview in the uh, podcast studio. Wow. Sweet. We're honored. Um, yeah. I am going to figure out how to get our sound a little bit better. You got the nice baffles all over the walls. That's, that really looks nice and professional. Is that what that's called? Oh, that it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun. There, there. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to absorb any possible echoes and, and that type of thing. Um, I just, I look up, we have microphones in the ceiling pointing down at us. Um, and I'm always afraid it's going to come loose and pop me in the head. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a big, you know, those foam windscreens on it, so it shouldn't hurt too badly when it hits me. <laughs> so let's get right into this Um second mortgage non-performing note purchases. I know most people cringe at even making a second mortgage to someone. Um, what, what's the, why do you do it? <laughs> yeah. So for me starting off, it was really a way to give homeowners a reprieve, right? It was the, the easiest access point into the mortgage note space. Um, at the time when I first got into the space, uh, late 2011, early 2012, uh, for me to pay uh, 35 cents in a dollar for a first, but I could pay six to eight cents on a second made more sense to me. Um, and it was, it gave me the opportunity to deploy my own capital, go over the hill and get the arrows on my back first, figure out the processes, the systems, uh, get some case studies so I can show investors. And then later on, that kind of led to a fund. The uh, second mortgage space is quite unique because it gives you the option on a property, uh, similar such as a subject to deal, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of your views are familiar with purchasing a property subject to an existing mortgage. Um, that's the same concept when you look at the second mortgage space. Um, you have equitable interest. You have an option on a property that's worth more. So instead of me going and uh, spending back that at that time, 25 to 35 cents in a dollar for a first for a loan balance that is you know, 100,000 or less on a first mortgage. Now I can play in my state, in New Jersey and other states where the property value is 250,000 plus, And I have an option from second position on this house. The other thing that intrigued me about it was that, of course, I would buy on um, mortgages, uh, first mortgages, seconds on first that were performing. So the person is paying a first mortgage, but they're not paying a second mortgage. So what is the probability factor at that point where I would try to determine from their credit what other bills are being paid, what other bills are not being paid, that they file bankruptcy, that they go through some type of hardship. What I started to see from the due diligence uh, was that this was the only debt that they were not paying. Maybe a few other ones um, they were not paying, but this was the only other major asset that had a lien on a property that they were not paying. And it was then borrow management that had to go into place to get them to perform. So it's just a low entry point to have an equitable interest on the property. Um, and it's it's a unique market. Uh, I would definitely say it's not for a passive investor. It's definitely for someone who wants to be active uh, because it's a business at the end of the day. Sure. 